All right. Well, today I bring you a 2000 Mercury Marquis, Grand Marquis GS. This is going to be the third Marquis I've done, the first in this body style. This was updated for 2000, a couple of changes, but essentially it's the same car and the interior and everything. So whatever the case, uh, move it out and we'll do it um, once around, show you all this stuff. So let's get started. So let's see if this will work, shall we? There we go. Unlocked. LA rims, keyless entry, just like my 96. Power seats, windows, mirrors, storage, trunk release. Another thing also is that on the newer ones, the window buttons were changed. They're not key colored to match the interior like on the older ones. The wood is also a different grade, or green. Anyways. This bomb has got 125 on her. So let's fire her up, shall we? Gotta love that old Ford. Good old Ford sound. Compass, electroclimatic mirror, electronic climate control, just like mine, 72. Also, the um, luminescent has changed to green instead of like a blue. Let's back her up. There we go. Perfect. Good enough. Here we are. So you got your cruise. Let's put some uh, real music on. Change this, um, you know. Of course. Fan. AC works nice in here too. Automatic headlights. Very nice food steering in this thing, yeah. Lighted with dual new reading lights. Your handles. Tilt wheel. Down, let's open it up. Pop the hood. Shut that off and turn the lights on. Here we go. Waterfall Mercury grill. And now to show you the amazing. Bulletproof Ford 4.6 V8. Quiet. These cars run great. They run forever. They run great and they run forever. They're bulletproof pretty much. Cornering light. Very easy to work on these motors, they're cheap to keep running there, they're, they're, they're just great motors, they really are. Let's open the back, climb in. <coughs> Ashtray. Code hook. Same dash, like I mentioned, as the older generations. Very plush seats. Got a cigarette burn in there, not a big deal though. And we are armrest with, I think, cup holders? No, not in this year. That was the only ones with the cup holders. But you do have reading lights. And child seat anchors. And storage, of course. Oh, this is the LS, I'm sorry. Well, alright, it's the LS. With dual lumbar, I had to mention that. And dual power seats. All your books and manuals. We also have precision track, which is pretty much just like uh, stability control, 
or a traction control kind of system, you know. There you go. Of course, your cup holders with lighter and ashtray or storage, whatever you want to use it for. Clock. And as I mentioned, it's got 125 on the clock. Let's pop the trunk. It's pretty roomy in there, too. And you got dual, you know, I don't know why there's two handles in there, but there are. The older ones only have one. On the Fords, you would just have this one, and the Mercury's have this one, the uh, strap. Yep, and you got two in here. You got your full spies and your donut. A very roomy trunk, along with your fuel pump shuttle. Very roomy car, big. Very nice car. They drive great. Smooth. As I mentioned, yes, the um, my last video had bends. Yeah, these drive a lot better than the bends. They really do. <clears throat> Full gauges. Shut the lights. Panel dim. Compass. Which is very nice. And of course, your overdrive is right there on the stock. And let's see how she sounds. And these motors always sound good, but... Not bad at all. Weather wrap steering wheel also, which I forgot to mention, but yeah, you have a leather wrap steering wheel. And... What do you think I'm forgetting? No. These cars drive great. Dual armrests, of course, you can see the third person here if you wanted to. Belts, and yeah. On your fuel release, well, the fancy models had a locking fuel door, so it would be over there. So let's pull it back in, shall we? And it's also a four-speed auto on the wheel, of course. There's no damage. <laughs> Anyways. So. <clears throat> so. Signing off. The marquee.